Hello everyone, this is Synodopes. Here with me are my cohorts in crime. We've got Ben Glebe who plays Blake. We've got Angeline Rosetroy who plays Elizabeth. We've got Skylar Campbell who's producing. Aaron Steele Nicholson, producer, dire uh, director. And we've got Scott Roughgard and our executive producer as well. Um, Tell us a little bit about Synodopes. Uh, Synodopes is a comedy about a movie theater that sells weed there to increase their business because we compete with a large megaplex that is right across the street from us. And beer and wine. We also sell beer and wine. Yes. That's true. And, also and, and, and movie tickets. And movie tickets. And movie tickets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like to make that artistic movie you will enjoy. Uh, what, how long ago did the concept originally start? Oh, about a while ago. About three years ago. Um, this project is something that I sort of came upon and loved the idea. It wasn't quite where it needed to be. So I brought Scott on board and Scott brought Brian on board and he just really exploded it into something amazing and Ben and he just collaborated and oh my god. When reading, you know, the first script that we ever had and our final shooting scripts, just it's day and night and we're just we're so happy to have this awesome team. Did you originally have the idea to include marijuana in the webisodes? That was something that uh, was not originally the plan, and then through creative collaboration uh, became the, the focal point. Um, and that Bengali, collaboration probably had a weed involved in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be awesome? Yeah. <laughs> what if we sold weed there? Uh, I mean, it's funny. The conversation yeah. that you see in, in the show is kind of like the conversation that we had. Well, yeah. you know, I, I had originally started writing scripts and then I thought, oh, I gotta get a really funny, who do I know that's really funny? And I couldn't find anybody. And then I went to Ben Glebe. That's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, then Ben Glebe came on and him and I both wrote the scripts. And uh, I believe, I'm gonna give the credit to you, you were the one that was like, the focal point of season one should be all about turning this crappy indie theater into a successful theater that sells weed. So, uh, thank you, Benjamin Glee. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah, it was fun, it's just, you know, I, I, it just seemed like, because that was a part of the scripts, and it was a focal point with something else, original drafts, and we figured that that maybe was more of a unique angle for the series, was that a, mo a movie theater might really get a competitive advantage by selling weed, and it would just be great. Especially in this day and age, where you know more states are legalizing weird, it's being decriminalized. You said weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird. Oh, well, that too. <laughs> weed. Well, we we like the fact that it's a current, yeah. uh, uh, something being talked about, and you know, I think as you were saying, something that should exist in reality. So we're trying to, you know, and maybe will soon. I, you know, I just got back from Amsterdam, and there, you know, the coffee shops there, of course, are incredibly popular. Why not have a movie theater that starts to open up the community getting together, be able to watch a movie and, and smoke weed together? I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a natural I think uh, it's next our, step. All of our hidden fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody has the idea for the series says you should do that as a real business. And I don't know if they're telling us to quit entertainment, <laughs> but it really would be a great business, and I'm considering it. There's, and, a, there's actually one in Colorado. There is? <laughs> That's opening up. Yeah. Really? Is it called Synodopes? No, I wish. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we need to start franchising. And are you all medical marijuana patients? I am. Uh, I have been in the past. I have a guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's my answer. I got a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he delivers to me. Right? Am I incriminating myself? I mean, I have a guy friend. You just said you have a guy. You didn't yeah. say anything about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I got a guy. I got a guy. I think you just came out of the closet as well. <laughs> Season two. You know. I mean, the thing, about, the thing about living in California is you, you might as well. It is very, uh, you know, everyone has different reasons that they like to use it. I personally like it for, uh, you know, to help me get to sleep at night. And, uh, you know, it's a basic, uh, it's a basic right we have as, as California citizens. Now, if the federal government would just come along, the whole rest of the country would be uh, a little bit better off, I think. Even D.C. it's legal now. It's, yeah. in, it's legal in the capital of the country. Yeah. Well, so, well, they also well, just well, passed some Senate. sort of law that uh, the federal government can't um, hassle uh, cannabis dispensaries anymore if their local state law allows it. Um, there's some sort of new thing that was just passed. So. I don't know, I was really stoned when I was reading it. <laughs> <laughs> but in episode one, Brian's character even talks about it briefly where he's like, everybody's doing it the legal way now and it's making his life a little bit harder trying to be the dealer. And so 
that was kind of the starting point where, you know, we kind of becomes its own character with the movie theater, and then he comes in and everybody's like, well, let's just start selling it at the theater. Um, so, you know, he talks about it in episode one, for sure. And, and being a, a web series about movies at a movie theater, and, you know, being a long-running history or the, the conjunction of, of people who smoke weed and enjoying movies, we put the series chock full of movie references. I think there's like 20 movie references in the, in the first season that are kind of hidden in there. Some hidden, some not. But So I challenge people to watch the, the four-episode season and find all 20. Um, mm -hmm. And it, you, you probably will need to be stoned to do so. <laughs> <laughs> That's we encourage it. Yes, yeah. and if you don't get them, just put it on loop and just watch it over. <laughs> <laughs> or if you do and you comment about them, we'll send you a t-shirt. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, thanks to uh, Raw, our, uh, our corporate partnership right now. They made a bunch of great t-shirts. Raw! We we'll love it out to you. <laughs> The natural way to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Unrefined paper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they also know. <laughs> um, how many episodes are in your first season? Four. And then how many seasons have you guys already filmed? One. Just one? Season one, yeah. And we're hoping that, you know, people really enjoy watching season one, they spread the word, and that we get enough, enough traction to, to be able to make a season two. What is your guys' end goal with Cinedopes? I mean, just just off the bat, I mean, for me, uh, and I think everybody here, we just we love creating. We love what we do. That's why that's why we do it. And so, Synodopes is just an opportunity to create a platform for us to to have this thing where we can, you know, kind of get together with the old gang and create this thing that we love. So for me, Synodopes is, is hopefully like some sort of a foundation where I, I can. Uh, you know, work with these people and create comedy that I that I believe in, and um, that's what Cinedopes is to me uh, is, is an opportunity to collaborate with you know people I respect and on a on a topic and a, and a thing I really enjoy. So. And the really cool thing is we're on YouTube, yeah. so we can pretty much get away with anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely check it out. We we, we push yeah. the uh, we push the limits. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the three of us are actors, and it can be frustrating always going on auditions and. And you know, having to get excited about a role that you didn't write, but you're still excited about it, then you don't get it. And if you do get it, there's a million network notes that change it and water it down, and it's not your vision, and it's not creatively what you want it to be. And it's really yeah. fun to be able to write something ourselves, act it ourselves, and literally have no, you know, no network head saying no, change this, do this. We know better than you do. So we're hoping that we get, are able to catch an audience and catch fire on YouTube, and then we'll be able to. Uh, keep doing them with complete creative freedom and then they'll just get weirder and more fun. <laughs> Weird. Every, everything yeah. is, is moving to YouTube and yeah. moving to a digital platform. I mean, if you're... I'm moving to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you think about, like, we, when did you finish the script? In July? Uh, yeah, it came together super fast. I mean, yeah. it was July. Like August. We, 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 we shot we in, started in August. shooting August. I mean, and now it's, it's out. 12th. And I could probably finish the script August Third. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I mean, there was about three weeks of maybe writing the scripts before yeah. even in pre-production, and then you know Ben and I were constantly on the fly. But I mean, yeah, the whole thing was super quick turnaround. Yeah. yeah. And what well, was great too. is you know yes we shot all of this stuff, and usually if you're working with a network or a studio, it takes time to release it, and we immediately released it a few months later. And so it's it's nice because we can create our own schedule. We can create when we're airing it, um, and you know it's it's shown on Total Anarchy TV, which is um, our network, and so on YouTube. Um, and so we're just kind of exploring that world right now because it, it is so new to a lot of people, but it allows you a lot more. It used to be that like you'd get all your resources together and then maybe make a short film or a music video or an indie mm -hmm. film or a pilot presentation. And Trying to get into festivals and barely anyone would see it. Now you can. We all get together and we can get it up there, and thousands and thousands of people start looking at, at your work. And really, as an artist, that is what we want more than anything. We create it so people will see it and comment on it, and and maybe it affects their lives or the way they think in some way. And really, at the end of the day, we just want you to laugh. <laughs> and I think it. We yeah. accomplished our goal. At least yeah. I laugh every time I see it. And it's a weird show for sure. There's lots of jokes hidden in it, and I think the more times you watch it, the more you'll notice some of the nuances within. It's a broad comedy. It's yeah. a big screwball comedy, kind of throwback to old school sitcoms, sort of maybe even like an I Love Lucy meets the Three Stooges or Three's Company. It's just all it's broad and big, but there's also a lot of layers in it, and that we did a lot to try to make the characters 
you know, uh, especially the main characters, sort of grounded and real people so that some of our other characters can be absurd and silly. And so hopefully you'll find a lot of those details. Um, just just wa fucking watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> and so uh, do you guys ever plan on eating edibles on your next season, maybe? <laughs> we did not do one. No, we didn't eat edibles. No, no. 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 absolutely. We yes. would love to stock that concession stand with edibles. Yes. Oh, what would be even better is if we worked with edibles companies that wanted to stock it with with certain edibles. And uh, yeah, we are we are very brand friendly for sure. And this is one of the few scripted series or entertainment series that is very four twenty friendly. So it's a great chance for brands that want exposure and a real lighthearted comedy in a way to kind of show that they have a sense of humor about themselves. Yeah, in a positive sense, too. Yeah, I mean, you know, we definitely, you know, show the, the fun side of weed, but also, you know, we plan to, you know, weed is, is it's a good thing. I'm really tired suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> do we, I, I I'm, I'm going to ask, do, do, do we have favorite edibles from everyone here? I'm, it's amazing what the uh, what, uh, what, what was that that, that that drink you gave me a uh, oh cannabis cool cannabis, cannabis quencher, quencher. Yeah. What? that oh, let me tell you yeah. I took a <laughs> cannabis quencher about an hour before I went to a bar okay I'm feeling nothing I'm, I'm talking to this girl and this guy like at the bar and like everything and it's like an hour after I took it I've, I've forgotten about it at this point okay? like I'm like oh this thing's not working and I'm talking and all of a sudden I just start laughing at what they're saying and they're like what's so funny and I again I forgot. That I drank this thing an hour ago, and I'm just like everything's so funny, and like I started to feel warm, and I was like, this is the dopest edible quencher thing I've ever had. Cannabis quencher. It's the best. It was amazing. <laughs> Felt like a duck was tickling my behind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, go ahead, Scott. No, uh, it wasn't anything like that. <laughs> I really wanted to say something absurd. I was just recently with a group of Sorry. people, and they did take edibles, and then they started watching from season or sorry episode one to four and I filmed their reactions and it was the funniest thing in the world because one of them had already seen the show to its entirety and so he's trying to explain it to all of his other friends while they're high off the pedicles <laughs> and so his like synopsis if you will of just synodopes is the funniest thing but yeah it's just you have to be high when you watch synodopes too it's so much funnier or not my mom really likes it yeah or not. <laughs> <laughs> but that, like some parents, you know, they may be a little bit more conservative, but they still get the sense of humor because they did it way back in the day, you know, and it was right. back those years. So to find out years later what your parents did in the seventies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have these two characters that are always having sex with each other, and my dad's a seven-year-old oh, yeah. man, and he calls me up, and I'm just like, Dad, what'd you think of Cinderella? She's like, You know, I gotta tell you. <laughs> that one guy banging that girl, <laughs> most people might not like that. I thought it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that's right. That's amazing. I, yeah. <laughs> I said it to my aunt, my grandma. It's, I mean, and that stuff, it's all done in a very, as, as Ben said, it's done in a very broad, like yeah. slapstick kind of way. Mm -hmm. Even the, the sex scenes are, are funny, so. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's... It's shameless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're funny. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where can I get a duck, though, to tickle my butt? Cause yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, you just gotta go, it's on national. Uh, <laughs> right <laughs> off Moringa. <laughs> oh, my God. So, do where do you guys, being in uh, Los Angeles and in California, we see our shops closing down every day left and right, um, if you guys, you know, are patients. Um, where do you guys hope to see medical marijuana and marijuana in California in five years? I mean, I feel like it's like delis and pizzerias in New York. Everywhere I look, I see a green cross. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, I feel like they're popping up everywhere. I mean, I literally have one on my the corner of the block I live on. Um, I, I only see it continuing to grow personally, no pun intended. I, I, I just think it's going to be, it's an unstoppable trend. Yeah, I, you know, I think that it just doesn't make sense anymore. I think we're getting to a point where, where it, you know, people with the internet have become so savvy about how the world works and how things work that it, it's hard to justify making something illegal that is demonstrably far less harmful for your body than alcohol, which is legal everywhere. And cigarettes. And cigarettes, yeah. which don't even give you a, a buzz. <laughs> What's the point of that? It's like, just, I want to die in this pack. <laughs> and so that's legal. So I think in five years, hopefully, you know, weed is legal in most of the country. Um, 
and then it'll be shortly after that. I would imagine that it becomes legal uh, on a federal basis, and then um, the president will be stoned, and there'll be no more nuclear war. Yeah. No, I mean, our president. Maybe no nuclear war has only the been stoned. What? Obama's, or he smokes weed, or he did. Smokes currently? Oh smokes. my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. He, he grew smoke. up in Hawaii. He was yeah. smoked yeah. weed. Yeah. He was <laughs> You heard the story about if, if, the you, game. if you didn't do total absorption, yeah, that you get a you get a dead arm punch from him, and he would he would jump <laughs> jump in rotation. Yeah. He would jump okay. in rotation. That's, that's where he came up with the idea to be president. Was he was stoned? That's right. right. You know what? You know what? He <laughs> I tried so hard not to be like Barack Obama. <laughs> Dude, I'm like if Ben's gonna do it. Oh, you know it. <laughs> Do your inferior Barack Obama impression. Okay, and then you'll do okay. my... Do Dueling it. Barack Obamas, comment below on which is better, right? <laughs> okay, do I think it's important to remember that everybody should be able to get stoned, whether you're white, black, or some, something else, other. Um, Brian, uh, that was not bad. You have to understand? Who that. are you doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama getting his ass tickled. No, my duck. I was about to bring back up the duck. All right, boys. All right, it. sorry. Do any of you all have a favorite like, strain? Favorite strain? I cannot find it anymore. Triple X Green Crack. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know where it went. It's gone. <laughs> I see the triple X, I see the green crack, I do not see them together anymore. So what happened to you two? You broke up. Why don't you just make them in the same bowl? Yeah, could we? Could we? You can. You Have can. some more babies, put some, please. Put them in the same bowl. I've heard rumors that Valentine X is supposed to be really nice. You just made that up. You just Googled that. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you Google weed before you came here? <laughs> it's, it's a super high CBD strain. and. Uh, that's part of like. Are you sure you don't mean BBD, the East Coast family? <laughs> <laughs> Never skipped a beat. No, that, 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 I like it because of all of the health benefits that are attributed to the high CBD rate. Anyway. There you go. He's like a resident doctor. He researches things to the nth degree. So when Cenodopes came about, he started asking me a lot of questions and Aaron, and then now he's like. <laughs> Basically, the doctor in the Green Cross store. Oh, uh, what, what do you say? I'm a, I'm a doctor in it, but I love he knows quite a bit, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty much a sativa kind of guy, but I, I'll be totally honest. Anytime anybody's ever handed me, you know, something and said, "Smell this, it's awesome." Every time, I'm just like, it might as well be that it's like trying wine. I have no clue. It, it all <laughs> smells the same. It all tastes the same. Like, but sativa. I mean, it's tough when you go into the dispensary and there's just. You know, I, I dreamed of those days when I was in college, and now that it's here, it's, you know... Overwhelming. You, you really know? Like, you're looking at them, and they're... I know. You're smelling them all, and like, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's weed! Yep, that's weed. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? Um, I'm, you know, definitely, I, I'm a sativa guy, for sure, or sativa-dominant hybrids, I prefer. Um, and, but just in general, marijuana has the opposite effect. I mean, that doesn't a lot of people, it does not make me sleepy ever. I cannot fall asleep on it. It makes me very active. It makes my brain really active, more creative. And, um, like Elizabeth and Elizabeth. Yeah, good mm -hmm. idea. She's super, super focused. focused. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that's part of what I think, I mean, I'm, we're going gonna to pat ourselves on the back, but I think that's part of what the show does too. I, I, we're trying to break through some of these stereotypes that like some. every stoner some. just yeah. some. Yeah, yeah so Because we have the too. typical stoners on there, but we also have, you know, yeah. everyone's experience is different, and we want people to start understanding more what it's about as opposed to, the, you know, the standard Listen, I smoke weed, I jog six miles mm -hmm. and write like a script. Like, I, yeah. I, like you, I smoke and I start thinking about everything I have to do. I start like, I, I'm the most productive person ever yeah. when I take just a little puff. So, um, and that's, I think, the sativa. I also am a sativa prefer, and it for me, it like narrows my focus down. It, it ruins, it eliminates some white noise, and then just boom, I get right to work. So, you know, everyone's experiences are different, and, and it goes nice before you fall asleep. Right? Yeah, <laughs> not that I know anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been trying the pens, and you know, it's uh, <coughs> there's, there's just so many products now, it, it's pretty exciting. He got his own pen. There you go. But that is the most. Just a regular. Right <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We don't even need those anymore, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
So there's a growing trend on national television, cable TV, mostly MSNBC and CNBC, putting on um, reality TV shows based around businesses for pot. Um, do you think that there's a growing trend for scripted weed television shows coming up in the market? Yes. yes. There has to be. Yeah. Well, the show Weeds was, was obviously groundbreaking. I'm a huge fan of that show. Um, but other than that, we're like second or third yeah. in this, in this, which is kind of cool. There's a market for it, but there's not much out there. So, I mean, we're we're here and we're funny and we're uh, we're tackling some cool issues. So yeah, and also not to not to denigrate weeds at all, but I was one time in the same hallway as Mary Louise Parker, and she hops around like a spider, and it's it's weird. And uh, to me. It's, <laughs> A lot, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of respect for who she was. She kind of has like a spider hop, you know? So. He does not hop, so, I mean. I'm not a hopper. Right. You know? Maybe she had to use the restroom. Yeah. I think that might have been actually what it was. Yeah. But still, I wasn't the only those thing that was behind the hop. I walked in the hallway and she was kind of like this. She went like. <laughs> I was like, what the? Did she play hopscotch with herself? <laughs> I don't understand it. So, we, we're not like that. We don't hop. No, no. We're, we're, we're the first scripted show ever about weed starring people who don't hop like spiders. <laughs> so you can quote us on that. <laughs> I don't know, there's nothing to edit. Or, or you don't have to <laughs> Did you give him an edible in the cake? <laughs> but you know, this is the part of what we're talking about. With, the inter with being able to put a show online, on YouTube. You know, would a network approve? A lot of the things that we do, would a network approve the storyline? Could they sell laundry detergent on our show? I don't know, but we don't really care. We have, you know, we're having a lot of fun making something that, that we all love and makes us laugh. Yeah, so. even if they would approve it, we'd prefer to do it, pun intended, we'd prefer <laughs> to do it in a way where we make less money. <laughs> so that's one of, one of our big goals. I think we're like one of the few that are actually doing a show about weed and we've kind of expedited that process because we could release it ourselves on YouTube. Um, you know, we've heard that there's a few other shows around that are discussing, you know, having weed be a character in it, but... Or, or a subject of one episode. Right. But yeah. we made it, you we're know? We're doing it for you guys, too. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing it, like, so you'll have fun and laugh. Like, no, we're, we're not making money, but we're doing it because we love this okay. idea and we want you guys to have fun with us. And where can we see your show? On Total Anarchy TV. Yeah, just youtube.com slash Total Anarchy TV. Mm -hmm. yep. The whole season's there and a bunch of behind the scenes videos. So much. So and funny. trailers. And then also, that's all that's there. And if you Google Cinedopes, it, it comes up under videos, under a lot of yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Our Google responses right now are, are pretty high on us. If you go in the streets and just shout, where can I see <laughs> Cinedopes? Somebody's going to break right by the window and say, YouTube.com slash Total Anarchy TV and also shut up, it's 3 in the morning. <laughs> that will happen. Try it. <laughs> or just log on It's been pretty cool because like... I was in New York two weeks ago and I was just randomly at a bar and I struck up this conversation with this woman and she's a comedian and um, all of a sudden, you know, I was talking about how we were working with Big Lee and she goes, oh yeah, I, I know the name and, and then she just goes, wait a second, it's not Synodopes, is it? And I was like, whoa, hold up. Like, people are talking. People are talking. It was yeah. the first time, you know, speaking with somebody that I have no connection to that has seen the show and, and her response was fantastic. She was like, it is funny as I'll get out. Um, so that's actually how Is that a phrase from where you're from? I'll get it. I'll get out. Yeah, it's as funny as I'll get out. She's from down south. All right, all right, all right. Don't stay in here. <laughs> Better get out. <laughs> But yeah, so that's actually happened twice so far, so it's starting to kind of do the ripple effect for sure. And Brian, you ran into people in Florida recently too? Well, I was in South Florida and my sister promotes Hinted Oaks on her Facebook page and I went to this bar to just, you know, hang out and it was overwhelming. Everybody in that bar had watched it, like, like based on just seeing it on my sister's Facebook and then their friends shared it and there was like a band and a live act and they were giving us a shout out in between their songs saying, watch Hinted Oaks. And it was a completely weed friendly crowd, you know, like and it was it was pretty overwhelming the reaction. It was it was awesome. Is, is the term shout out or shout out? Shout out, shout out. I like to give a shout out. out. I think you can do shot as well. I like to give a shout out. Shout out. That sounds like something bad. <laughs> <You're> for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seems like when you don't like something, you give them a shot out. The articulation police over here. Yeah, really. Where? Where? <laughs> can you Wait, imagine? Did you say where or with where? These two? where? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the I think the point is though it it does it, it blows my mind 
you know, when you, because we like hemmed and hawed and had so many conversations, like, is this funny? Is this going to work? Blah, blah, blah. Should it be that? Should it be? I mean, you can imagine there's tens of thousands of decisions that go in. And when you start to hear these stories where people are watching it and, you know, they did something, right? They're responding to it. it, it it's really, that's why we're doing this. Not for money, right? But honestly, <laughs> we hope that it'll, it'll start to get in there. You know, along with the legislation, the culture needs to change around the country. And we hope that that this will help a little bit. Maybe, maybe people realize it's, you know, it's not something bad, it's something we, good, it's something fun. Did we have fun. some yeah. lobbyists contact us? Oh yeah, we have Didn't two lobbyists out of DC that are that were contacting us and wanting to talk more, and they were just like, we watched the show. One of them was watching the show in their office, and apparently he was just dying laughing, and so all these other lobbyists come circle around him watching the show with them. They were like, right on, keep it up, like it is funny. So. Because, you know, I mean, that's what's fun. You can give as many speeches as you want. You can write down, you know, your opinion about things. But one of the best ways to get into people's minds and their hearts is through entertainment and laughter. And, you know, that's one of the things we hope to accomplish, too. And yeah, just, just, you know, normalizing marijuana as, uh, as a thing that is just part of life, as part of I mean, a lot of people's lives. And so to do it is, you know, it's just a through line in the series where we do that to increase business. It's an interesting approach to it. Um, and also, we, we, we get to leave here with edibles, right? Yeah, I do. I have some edibles for you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Right. Right here, right. Best interview ever. We're just doing this for the edibles. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we pay our people, in edibles. She's like, yeah. That's true. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be How come we didn't get to do our interview on the giant bean bag? <laughs> this is too many of you. We can fit on that. <laughs> could you imagine? I guarantee we can all fit on that. It's a super sack. It's called the sack. Oh, God. <laughs> it is a super sack. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> I, 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 no, no joke. I'm totally serious. I'm actually suing super sack right now for the name I use for my penis and dust <laughs> <laughs> Super sack. Oh anyway. <laughs> <laughs> The, the full name I always use is, is Dr. Kingpin and the Super Sack. <laughs> but they took half the name and just used it for seats, and I don't like that because I don't want anybody sitting on my balls. Well, just no, think I mean, about it. I think this is a better application here. That's, right. that's, that's <laughs> one person's opinion. She's like, get off this. It's going to be a nightmare for her to edit. She's got no off camera coverage. I know. I don't. I have no off camera coverage. Sack. I don't even want to turn it. Oh my God. People can imagine this in their head. Lovely woman lying on a on a giant super sack that's, that's named after my balls. So the lobbyists have been very. <laughs> <laughs> they got that in their head. They don't need to see that. All right. Does this you go further? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. she, you know what? She's gonna pick up all that coverage after we leave. So great. Great. Just whenever you relax, there's realize you're lying in my balls. Very comfortable. Oh my god. Balls so are very comfortable. Thank you so much. Oh, now you understand my point. Thank you so much. I won't be collecting a royalty on the way out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you want to close this out and say? Shut up, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. Check out Cinedopes on YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash Total Anarchy TV. Thank you slash, for even you can Thank say you. slash. Slash, right? Yeah, I guess, yeah, I didn't even say slash. Forward slash. 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 That's we slash. hope you enjoy it. Go yeah. check it out. Leave <laughs> comments. We love the comments, you guys. Well, because yeah, I don't right. think a backward slash would work, right? Just Correct. Slash. Nobody but, uses that. But you should just say back slash. Backward 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 backward. This is going to be a fade out. Yeah, I'm like, I'm envisioning it right now. I'm like, fade out. That's the thing to remember. Pull that out. Make sure you make sure. You understand? I never got a chance to do my Obama. Uh, um, it's you know, is that like a, a sick Kermit the Frog? I'm gonna kill him in a sleep. Sick Kermit the Frog. I'm murder him in sleep. Under the water, got Kermit the Frog. You got a duck in his asshole. Oh my gosh. That feels great. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't do it myself. <laughs> but Michelle. <laughs>